It is a traditional First Nations art form that dates back thousands of years. Bentwood boxes are created through a skilled process of carving, steaming, and then bending a single plank of wood into a box. The result, both beautiful and rare. There are only a handful of artists who still practice the craft, one of whom is making a name for himself in Northwest Galleries and also in some very notable homes. Linda Ellsworth reports. To say James Michaels loves to carve is an understatement, more like he lives and breathes it. They're exposing the wood for the first time in, in, in its life, and it's almost like an honor to, to be the one to, to do that. It started as a hobby, back when he was a talented but struggling musician. Traveling up north and stuff, we would usually spend a week in each town, and a lot of them had reservations, and, you know, I'd meet these artists that are just working in their backyard, and I'd, you know, cycle up and say, hey, can I watch you for a while? And, and so he honed his skills. For a while, James was content creating totem poles and plaques in his spare time. Then, in a gift shop, he saw his very first bent wood box. I flipped it over and I seen the price and then I put it down and said, well, I'm gonna have to figure out how to make these myself because I cannot afford that. Bent wood boxes are a West Coast First Nations art form. What makes them unique is that, unlike other boxes, their corners aren't mitered. The wood is literally bent, but first the preparation. And then you just knock, knock the uh, excess out with a knife. And then you use the knife to cut a little kerf. Then the board made of cedar is steamed for several hours. Are you ready? It makes the wood soft and pliable, but only for a short time, so you have to work fast. Okay, so the notches are towards you. Got it. All right, and okay. if you watch what I do here. One, two, and three. At UBC's Museum of Anthropology, bent wood boxes, which have been made for thousands of years, are a prized part of the collection. This is a true masterpiece of um, steam bending. It has 12 bends in this one piece. It's a very early piece in terms of it being all sewn together and um, pegged in a traditional way. At least 200 years old, it's only one of two known to exist. But most bent wood boxes have four corners, like this one from the 1850s. It might have been used to cook or store food, or it might have had a higher purpose. For storage of regalia, for the, for high rank families that had the, uh, the blankets and the ammonites. And of course, when plastics and metals were introduced to the West Coast, the bent wood box fell by the wayside. The art of making them might have been lost, if not for a handful of First Nations craftsmen like James Michaels. You never could have seen yourself today. Not like selling boxes to Jim Pattison, and he's given them to Oprah and Al Gore, and I'll never take it for granted that I'm able to sit in my shop and, and do this, because it's, uh, it's what I love to do. To find out more about James Michaels and his bent wood boxes, just log on to our website at globaltvbc.com and click on links in the news.